Good morning, friends. Welcome to Crafted Watercolor. My name is Chanda Craft. I'm going to show you how to draw and paint a little fox today. Go through my supplies. I have my squirt bottle, my palette of watercolor paints, a couple of brushes, watercolor cup, or water cup, excuse me, some paper towels in case I need them, pencil, and of course, my watercolor paper. For this fox, I'm going to start with an oval. I'm going to put my fox right here in the middle, and I want to make sure I take up a good amount of space in the picture. So I'm going to start right about here. I'm going to make an oval. Something like that. Next step is to give him a nose. So I'm going to come down and make a little triangle here for a nose. Need some ears, a couple triangles for ears. And now that I kind of have this basic shape in here and I like how that looks, I can go over and draw it darker and add some furry details. So I can go on this ear and give him some fur on his ears. And maybe the top of his head. Come down here to his nose. Go over that. And I want him to have a cute little black nose right on the end. Come down. Give him some fluffy cheeks. Okay. And then two little eyes. One right there, and one right there. These are kind of positioned right at the corners of his nose. So if I go up to his nose and up, there's an eye, and there's an eye. Maybe just a little detail. Like there's some fluffy inside the ears too. Now I can take my eraser and I can erase some of those first lines that I drew just to clean it up a little bit. For the body, I'm going to have the front legs coming down here. So right under these fluffy cheeks, come down like so. So, line down the middle, and then I can have some two little feet. Give them some little scruffies here. And his hind legs will be right here. Another little foot back there. And another one back here. Well, that one's kind of small. And of course, he needs a tail. Give him a nice bushy tail. Like so. <clears throat> and a few whiskers.
Well, he's just floating in space here. So let's put him in a landscape. So maybe he's sitting, maybe there's a little river right here, or some water. And maybe there's some rocks. along this river. Something like that. And maybe there's some trees in the background. Maybe this is like grassy area and there's some trees back here. So I'm going to make this grassy area come right across here. So this is going to be kind of like a horizon line right here. Where it's just a straight flat line that goes all the way across here and then maybe there's some tree trunks some of my trees are crooked and some of them are fat some of them are skinny and short some of them are really tall branches. And then I can take, I'm going to make a, a loop-de-loop, -loop, kind of like a fluffy cloud shape to make the, this part of the, the trees. There we go. Now we can start painting. Ooh, whoops, bump the table. I like to start in the background and move forward. So the farthest, farthest thing away from me is my trees. And I'm actually going to start in between these trees with a nice dark color. So I still have some dried paint on here. I think I'm going to clean that up today. Take my squirt bottle and I'm going to squirt my paints and that part. Just wipe this out and clean that all up. You notice I like to leave this to dry because then when I close it, it doesn't make a mess. There we go. Now we have a fresh, clean palette and we're ready to go. And Let's start back here by just putting the paper in between my trees. So I'm just going to do a few at a time so that the paper doesn't dry out in between Take some black, maybe a little purple. You don't want it to be too dark back there. even have some of it a little green but we still want it to be dark because it's in the shadows it just kind of shows that there's stuff growing back there You can just let those colors mix together right on the paper where it's wet. Ooh, that's a lot of water.
We'll go to the other side of our little fox. I'm going to be really careful around his fluffy cheeks, but I can go right over his whiskers. If you are new to painting along with me, you'll notice I use the lid of my paints to mix my colors. It keeps my paints clean down here so they don't get too gunky. And I like to keep them from getting too soupy too so that they last longer. There we go. I'm going to go and do the leaves of my trees now. Get this area wet it down. You could use your squirt bottle here if you like. I'm just going to use my brush today. and work in sections. I'll probably go like up to here, mix up some green. Now this green is in the sunlight, it's not in the shadows, so I want this to be a brighter green. And I might even add a little bit of yellow to that. Let's see what that looks like. And I'm kind of going in circles with my brush like this. Give it a little texture and down to my wet edge here. So I gotta start wetting the paper again. Found my little foxy ear. In the last section. All right, we got some tree trunks back here to do. So I'm just gonna make a little puddle right here. Get my brown. I'm 
For these, I'm just going to go right on there. I'm not going to wet the paper because it's a really small area for each little tree trunk. And you'll want to make sure that this part is pretty dry before you do this because otherwise your colors might run together. And if they do, you can just blot it with a paper towel and come back to it when it's dry or you can use a hair dryer to dry it. There we go. I have this big area of grass. This is the next, as we come forward in the picture, this is my next section. So I'm going to go for a another green color, but I want it to have even more yellow in it. And I have a lot of area to cover, so I need a big puddle of paint for this. So. I've got quite a bit of green in here. Rinse my brush out in between colors. Try to clean up that a little bit. Put a lot of yellow in there and mix that together. Okay. Area wet. Oops, I got my fox wet. I don't want my fox to have a green tail, so clean that up a little bit. All right, here we go. on the edge of my rocks. You can kind of make like little grassy brush strokes like this. And you'll get some texture in your painting that way that looks a little bit like grass. This is kind of dry over here, so I'm going to go ahead and wet it with a brush. There we go. I think I'm going to save our fox for last so like that this grass has a chance to dry and I'm going to come back down into this area with the rocks give me some black and go back into this kind of purple black mixture that we had before and 
maybe a little of the brown. Let me just mix all that together. Get a nice little, just kind of a nice gray color. All we have left here is our river. So let's take some water. We'll wet this area. And we'll come up here and mix a little blue. Maybe add some purple to that. Oh, yeah, I like that. I'm just going to come in here, kind of do like snaky lines or zigzag lines. So you kind of can tell that that is water. All right, we're ready to move on to our fox. And I have quite the mess up here, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean that up. I'm gonna brush, wash my brush out really good. So I don't have any blue or green mixing in with the orange of my fox. I got my puddle of orange, maybe a touch of red to that. I'm gonna go ahead and get his head wet. I'm going to leave part of his face white or maybe just a lighter. Let's come down to his, down his nose, something like that. And I'm going to go back to the paint, start at the top. Maybe we'll come all the way down to his nose. 
and I want to leave this part white here. So come around, go down his legs. And do his back legs too at the same time. And last is the tail. There he is, friends. What do you think? I think he's adorable. I hope you had fun with this one. See you next time.